Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to configure router tree to support SSH connections. Firstly, I will configure the a domain name on router tree with the command IP domain name and the domain name is ccnasecurity.com and then uh, I will configure users for login to the SSH server on router tree with the command user username with the user and the highest privilege level and the password the highest level privilege is 15. Now I will configure the incoming VTY lines on router tree. And I accept only HH8 connection. So I will enter the command transport input SSH8 if there are any existing key pair on router tree you should remove it before generate other ISA encryption key pair the next step I will config RSA encryption key pair and the size of the key is 1024 now we should verify the configuration as you can see that the authentication timeout is 120 seconds and the authentication retry is three times so I will config to edit or to modify the configuration firstly I will config SSH8 version 2 and I will modify the timeout to 90 seconds and the authentication retries is two times. Now we re verify our configuration. As you can see, the version, the uh, timeout, and the retries is correct. Now I will connect to router three via telnet from PCC. On PCC, I open the command prompt and telnet to router tree. As you can see, the connection is failed because we config router tree accept only SSH connection. Now I connect to router tree by using SSH. enter the password uh, successfully now we are on router 3 and we can uh, show some configuration on router 3 we can connect to router 3 from router 2 by using this command That is, now we are on router 3. We can show the running configuration on router 3. Okay, so now we check for the result. As you can see, 
we get the full score. Thanks for watching.